Let's take a look at this example. Again, we have a rational function. In the denominator, we have x squared. If you are going to replace this x by 0, 0 squared gives you 0. We said we do not want to have 0 in the denominator. So what we are going to do first, check the numerator. Maybe we can factorize something. We have limit x goes to 0. I can factorize from the numerator x squared. And you will have x to the fourth plus 2x minus 1 over x squared x squared and x squared will cancel out and I end up with limit x is approaching to 0 and I have x to the 4 plus 2x minus 1 we got the limit of the polynomial so when we have limit of the polynomial we simply replace in this case every single x by 0 I'm going to have 0 to the 4 plus 2 times 0 minus 1. 0 plus 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. This is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at this example. We have to look at the denominators first. 3 plus 0 looks okay. But 1 divided by 0 doesn't look good. We said we do not want to see the 0 in the denominator. So what we are going to do over here, we are supposed to try to reduce something if this is possible. What I am going to do, I am going to subtract these two fractions first and everything, whatever I am going to get from the subtraction, I am going to multiply by 1 over x. Maybe something is going to be able to reduce. I have limit x goes to 0 and common denominator for these two fractions is going to be 3, 3 plus x minus 3, 3 plus x. In the numerator I'm going to have 3, over here I'm going to have 3 plus x times 1 over x. I have limit x is approaching 0 and I have 3 minus 3 plus x over 3, 3 plus x times 1 over x. I have limit with x approaching to 0. Negative times invisible positive is negative. So I have 3 minus 3 negative times positive is negative x over 3, 3 plus x times 1 over x. 3 minus 3 gives me 0. That's why I'm going to have limit x is approaching to 0. I have minus x over 3, 3 plus x and I have 1 over x. x and x will cancel out and I'm going to end up with limit with x approaching to 0. I have negative 1 over 3, 3 plus x. If you are going to replace x by 0, your denominator is not going to be 0. That's why I can go to the final answer. I'm going to have negative 1 over 3, 3 plus 0, which is going to be equal negative 1 over 3 times 3 is 9. And this is the solution to my problem.